Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are asking the most important question first, which is what is cloud native? So cloud native describes an architectural approach that emphasizes application workloads that are portable, modular, and isolate between different cloud deployment models and cloud service providers. So that's my own definition because when I looked up cloud native and as I understood it, it was a little bit more complicated than that. And the context seemed to change depending on who was using the term. So one example is with cloud service providers. And so a cloud service provider would be something like AWS, Azure, or GCP. And when they would use the term cloud native, and this is my first introduction to cloud native when I was using AWS, uh, was it meant everything built on top of the cloud service provider. Uh, and so what I learned was that this is more uh, meaning cloud first. So where, um, you know, you could start on premise, like in your own data center, but if you choose to build all in the cloud service provider, that is a cloud first approach. And so that's where that term kind of got a bit muddy. And so that's why I redefined it up here to say something that you can take, you can build and you can move it to AWS, Azure, GCP uh, in theory. Uh, there's also uh, kind of these like diagrams online that talk about the components that go into cloud native. And so the idea here is that they'll say modern design, automation, microservices, containers, and backing services. So the idea when they say modern design, modern design would be using a modern architecture, which below is microservices and containers uh, or serverless architecture. And then automation, which is just a component of it. And then backing services, meaning like, okay, most of it uh, is gonna be probably portable modular isolate, but you might leverage uh, backing services like cloud service providers uh, services or other cloud native services that run anywhere. So some describe uh, cloud native being four key principles. So you can just see there's variations on this. Microservices, containerization, continuous delivery and DevOps. So it really depends in the context. And so the context of this course, cloud native will mean technologies like Kubernetes and the CNCF projects, which we'll talk about in this course, that are both uh, distributed and are agnostic to any cloud service provider. And just to really uh, be very specific, I found um, this definition by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. It was in one of their documents um, uh, somewhere. So I don't know who wrote it, but it is by them. And their definition was cloud native technologies empower organizations to build and run scalable applications in modern dynamic environments such as public, private, and hybrid clouds, containers, services, meshes, microservices, immutable infrastructure, declarative APIs uh, for that approach. These techniques enable loosely coupled systems that are resilient, manageable, observable, combined with robust automation. They allow engineers to make high impact changes frequently and predictably with minimal toll. The Cloud Native Foundation seeks to drive adoption of this paradigm by fostering and sustaining an ecosystem of open source uh, vendor neutral projects. We de uh, democratize the state of the art patterns to make these innovations accessible for everyone. And so what I get from that when I read it is that the CNCF approach is that it's democratized, right? So if you are using a cloud provider like AWS, Azure, GCP, you're really uh, buying into that whole system. But the idea is that you buy into cloud native, you have more uh, portability. And, uh, you know, there's a bunch of people that are involved to make sure that uh, you aren't, uh, you know, being sucked into a gravity well of a particular managed provider. So, you know, hopefully that gives some context. It is, again, a squishy term, but, uh, you know, we have to kind of define it, okay?